What's up, guys? It's Jay. More than half to kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2. And yesterday, I put out a thoughts and opinions video on the B Shield nerf that has recently hit consoles. And talking about things recently hit consoles, that's right, Gearbox has gone and done it again and leaked another DLC on the PS3 side when the console patch hit. And the new DLC is called Sir Hammerlock's Big Game Hunt. And I know the first question you guys are asking yourself is, why the fuck? Would you give Sir Hammerlock his own DLC? I mean, Claptrap's annoying enough, and he has his own DLC in Borderlands 1. I'm glad they didn't make the mistake of making another Claptrap DLC, but Sir Hammerlock is just as bad as Claptrap. I think he's almost worse because he's sitting there, and he looks at me with that blank-ass Australian stare, and he's like, Go do this, go do that. I don't want to do that, Hammerlock. I don't want to do shit for you. Go play with old Slappy. <laughs> so anyway, this DLC was probably being made the same time that the Pirate Booty DLC and the Tour DLC was made. So this might actually be designed around the B-Shield prior to the B-Shield nerf. So you might be on the lookout for overpowered bosses with huge massive health. Just like you see in the Pirate Booty DLC and Tour's explosive DLC. So... Uh, in my opinion, there's going to be two ways to do this DLC, and one way is the predictable Gearbox way, and the other is the awesome way. My way. My motherfucking way. <laughs> so anyway, let's talk about the predictable way to do this. The way Gearbox is probably going to do this is they're going to stuff a few small areas with some poorly written script and attempt to mimic the original comedy of the Borderlands 2 main quest without realizing that they designed this whole DLC around annoying characters lacking depth. I'm looking at you, Mr. Torg. Even though you were kind of funny, Hammerlock doesn't have that type of funniness to him. So I think that it's just going to be a little bit of annoying with Hammerlock being the main character of this DLC. And uh, they're probably just going to fill each area with different locales and creatures and maybe some reskins and, uh, you know, slap a bow on it and call it a DLC. And that's not the awesome way. That's not my way. This way that I'm talking about is a huge chance for Gearbox to redeem themselves. Number one, if you think about the name, Big Game Hunt. This gives them a huge chance to put characters into this DLC that a lot of solo and co-op players have yet a chance to see. And you know who I'm talking about. They need to put in a spawnable, vermiverous, the invincible, so everybody has a chance to see him and put him in as a raid boss because it's big game hunt and there is no bigger boss in this game than vermiverous and a lot of people want to see him. I still haven't had a chance to spawn him yet because he won't spawn. Just ultimate badasses all over the place and ultimate badasses is harder to kill than every other goddamn Varkid or ultimate badass in this game. I don't know why they just fucked me up so bad and I want to see Vermivorous. I want to see him so bad. <laughs> but also it's a chance to add new and exciting creatures and not just reskin renamed versions like the pirates and bikers that you saw in the last two DLC. But guess what? This is my idea right here, and this is just going to put the cherry on the top, and it's now or never Gearbox. I hope you're listening. I hope Randy Pitchford's listening, because this is the perfect chance to toss Cromerax into the game and not be out of place. Considering the fact that this is called Big Game Hunt, if you tossed in a Vermivorous that was spawnable and a Cromerax, this would go ape shit and bring a lot of the original players back. A lot of people that have lost interest in this game because you're trying to force your way of playing onto the uh, old players and the old players just want to play the way the old game was. So basically all they have to do is focus more on gameplay extension over top trying to make an interesting storyline because we all know that Borderlands storylines isn't just something that Borderlands does very well but if they add in some new guns they add in some new actual real new characters that aren't just like reskin versions like oh this is a spiky stalker spiky stalkers look just like a rabid stalker yeah don't do that we need to see new characters we need to see new locations and for god's sake Please put in some lush, green, forest-style locales. I want to feel like I'm on the forest moon of fucking Endor. Because this is a big game hunt, right? So I want to feel like I'm trucking through the woods. And there's like swamps and mist. And fucking shit going all over the place. That is how you need to do this DLC. 
because, uh, you know, it's really a shame because right now Gearbox seems to be a little bit more preoccupied trying to artificially extend the game's play time through nerfs, badass ranks, and low drop rates, and it's just killing the game early, and it's showing that Gearbox really has no idea why the first Borderlands was popular in the first place and just pissing in the wind, but this is a chance for them to redeem themselves, put in Chromerax, put in Vermivorous the Invincible, and just throw everything at the wall and see what the fuck sticks. So, my name's Jay, more than after kill. This was just my thoughts and opinions on how I think they should do the new DLC. It's probably already done, so they're probably not going to take any of my advice or anything that I said here, or any of my ideas, but you know what? That's alright, because this is my channel, and this channel's about me and the games I play, and I'm playing Borderlands, and this is exactly how I would do the DLC. So make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. My name is Jay, more than I have to kill, and I'm going to see you guys later.